The Return of the King, The Lord of the Rings, The Two Real Kings, King David and King John on St. Mary the Virgin in Dis, South Norfolk, in February 2024. Rosalind Chapel is a book in a stone that only those with the eyes can see the riddles within the riddles. Peterborough Cathedral was more obvious, whereas St. Mary the Virgin in Dis is out there, completely open for all to see. It has all the high orders. Knights Templar announcing themselves, Rosicrucians announcing themselves, Order of the Blue Rose announcing themselves. Now I'm going to go through the list of the high orders. The Order of the Priory of Sion are the guardians, the watchers, and the protectors of the Holy Grail bloodline. The Order of the Priory of Sion are the spiritual and priestly sect. Our deepest apologies for not mentioning them earlier. I know it caused some stress. The Prior of Zion has nothing to do with Zion with a Z. Second, the Knights Templar are the military arm of the Order of the Priory of Zion with an S. Knights Templar are considered one of the most illustrious orders in Freemasonry. Third, Knights of Malta or Order of Malta are one step below the Knights Templar. Four, the Order of the Blue Rose with close ties to the Order of the Rose. Five, the Rosicrucians. Sixth, the Freemasons focusing on antediluvian knowledge with no Jesuits. Stained glass window at the back of the chancery. The six people around Christ are defined by their colours, which are the colours of the high orders, and also represent England, Scotland and Ireland. Christ appears to be in a coma as he still has a life force about him, the halo, and is about to be resuscitated by the High Orders, to raise the Kingdom of England and the Kingdom of Scotland once again. At present, the Kingdom of England and the Kingdom of Scotland are under a coma induced by the Jesuits using spells like the poison apple and the prick of a needle. The colour red. The stained glass background is red. The red around them represents the bloodline, the rose line, and a close-up on the red shows it as a rose within a rose within a rose. The blood is the life. It's the rose line, the blood line. It also looks like the form of blood or microscopic blood. Mother Mary is the real rose, the rose of Sharon. This is red with gold on it or black with gold on it, as in the cross on the altar just below the stained glass. Red and gold represents the Order of the Thistle. King David is the rightful Grand Master of the Order of the Thistle. This is the highest order in Scotland. Red and white is obviously Knights Templar. Blue. The wife, Mary Magdalene, is the Order of the Blue Rose, the priestess known as the Scarlet Woman, the Scarlet Priestess, the Flowers. Blue and white on woman is the Order of Bath Dame. The Order of Bath and the Order of the Garter were created by King Edward III of England, who ruled 1327 to 77, and is King David's great times 22 grandfather. The stained glass is predominantly red and white and blue and gold, the same as the Order of the Garter. The Order of the Garter ribbon is blue. In its centre is the red cross, being the Holy Grail cross. The fleur-de-lis at the bottom forms a snake's head, representing one of the two snakes continually chasing each other around the sun, known as Ouroboros. Ouroboros can represent the two Christs, or one of the two Christs. The Order of the Garter was started by the Plantagenets with the gold script motto, Honi soit qui mal y pense which is Anglo-Norman for shame on him who thinks evil of it. Mary Magdalene wears blue with a blue rose on her wrist for the Order of the Blue Rose and a collar of red roses for the Rose Line and the Rose of Sharon, meaning Orbit of Light. Mary Magdalene is the Rose of Sharon. Her halo is the rose colour with fleur-de-lis, just to make sure, for sure, that this is the grail bloodline. The white stone set in gold with 13 smaller white stones around it marks Mary Magdalene as the Grand Dame.
Mary Magdalene's dress is blue or blue and white, her cape is gold, and her apron is silver with a pattern of gold and royal blue fleur-de-lis. Christ's right-hand fingers touch Mary Magdalene's left-hand fingers. This represents the joining of the house of Judah and the house of Benjamin. The divine masculine and the divine feminine are being honoured. Mary Magdalene is on her knees, meaning she is most trusted, as in the washing of the feet, as done by the wife, showing they were married. Purple represents the order of Melchizedek, the king priest, the priest kings. The rightful grand master of the order of Melchizedek is King David, with King John III as his right-hand man. Gold represents the order of Melchizedek as well. Turquoise green blue represents the order of St. Patrick for Ireland. Women in white represent the grand high dames of Ishtar, Isis, priestesses of Avalon, priestess of Isis, including the 33 degree grand master dame at Roslyn, who presented in the summer of 2023. Apologies for having to leave so quickly, but my company thought I was in danger. The 2006 Da Vinci Code used locals, and you all look so familiar. White and black cross on gold, or gold on black cross, represent the Order of Malta, who are just below the Knights Templar. Green limey emerald is the Order of the Thistle. The Order of the Thistle ribbon is green. Lighter green is the Order of the Druids. Red is for the Red Lodge, and blue is for the Blue Lodge. The unicorn represents Christ, and so is the emblem of Scotland, and the natural emblem of Scotland. The unicorn represents the Messianic bloodline. The priest king is the sovereign of them all, and that's King David. Dragon king comes from David Aragon, drop the avid A, and get... D. Dragon, Dragon. The motto for the Order of Bath is Tria Ejecta in Uno, Three Joined in One. This is interpreted as the House of Judah, the House of Benjamin, and the House of Joseph. The Trinity forms a circle and takes on the One. This is the code language of the priest kings. The Ruby is the King of the Gems, the ruby is for the true king. King David's ring on his right hand has the ruby with a diamond inset, and on his left hand, the ruby is in the middle. In the font, the angel has a really small waist, a really big chest, and long hair, and appears to be playing an instrument. His hands are in the position of the guitar, and his fingers are in the position of the fleur de lis, which is the E note. Now, King David has a 32 inch waist, a 59 inch chest, and he plays the guitar really well. And here is the lion in full ascension with its wings fully spread. And here is the ox bull in full ascension with its wings fully spread. And here is the eagle phoenix in ascension. And here are the fleur de lis roses in four different patterns. In the stained glass window, the baby shown is born in a star, meaning the star family and King David is of the star family. And I went and measured it, and the baby presented as a life-size baby, but King David was actually born the longest baby, 33 inches long, and is twice the size of the baby shown in the stained glass. <laughs> High above the chancery entrance is the large wooden cross. This is a fleur de -lis cross. On each arm is a rose with four circles, with three circles within, for the divine masculine and the divine feminine. This fleur de -lis cross has 
four fleurs each with fleur inside, which makes four times three equals 12, which equals three, which equals the Trinity. The Trinity always heads to the one. This means we are at one. The three circles also represent the order of Bath, whose motto is Tria Jacta in Uno, three joined in one. In the center of the fleur de -lis cross is the blue rose. This is interpreted as the fleur de -lis cross is on top of the blue rose. So the order of the blue rose is represented as a very high order. The cross is made up of lines. This is the rose line, which is the Merovingian line. There's a reason why Roslyn Chapel is in Roslyn. Roslyn means rose line. The House of York has the white rose, and the House of Lancaster has the red rose, alluding to the rose line. They are both of the rose line, and both are Plantagenet. King David's paternal bloodline is the St. Clair Rose line. This is the senior house of Anjou. King David's maternal bloodline is the Plantagenet Rose line. This is the junior house of Anjou. King David is a direct descendant of the senior St. Clair of Roslyn line and the senior line of the Plantagenets. The union of King David's blood is the highest ranking of both houses. As such, it is AB negative. In the centre of the fleur de -lis cross, the rose in the square means Jesus Christ, his mother Mary, and his wife Mary Magdalene were all the rose of Sharon, which means the orbit of light. This is quite well known. St Mary of the Virgin Church and Dis as cited in NorfolkChurches.co.uk. Dis is the most typical town in Norfolk as it has never had a great fire. Dis is the only market town in England built around a large lake, the Dis Mare. Dis has more surviving medieval houses than any other town in East Anglia of its size, except Sudbury. Right in the heart, hemmed in by narrow streets and leaning buildings from the 1500s, is the great church of St Mary the Virgin, built between 1300 and 1500. The tower was built in the 1300s with a processional archway underneath. Under the reign of Queen Victoria, much of the church was rendered Victorian and the chancel was rebuilt. That's the far east end of the church holding the altar and magnificent stained glass window which breaks the codes of kingship in the UK. Continuing with the quote, then, in 1906, a wooden fletch or slender spire was placed on top of the tower. Actually, it was a coupler in English oak of the same shape as now placed on top of the church tower in 1906, or more likely 1910 11. 93 to 99 years later, it was taken down in sections in 2004 to be replaced by the new English oak coupler on a Sunday in September 2004. This has fleur de -lis and gold leaf, gold paint, and the carpenter's names written on paper placed inside. In plenty of time for the rightful King of England to arrive in May 2015, and the rightful King of Scotland to arrive eight years later in May 2023. In the top left corner is the rose, and in the top right is the fleur de -lis. In the center of the triangle is a rose. All of these represent King David's bloodline, the St. Clair and Plantagenet Rose line, where all of them are direct descendants of King Solomon and his father, King David. All of these three, 333, that we are seeing alludes to the master number 33, 33rd degree. The circle inside the triangle represents Solomon's triangle. The triangle represents a trinity that breaks down into a circle which takes on the one. The trinity becomes the one. The one is the trinity. So one and three together is 13. This alludes to the power of 13 and the 13 rex deus families. The 13th letter of the alphabet is M. M stands for Merovingian. This is the coded language of the priest kings. Numerology is the language of God the creator, the prime creator, the infinite creator. Generative principle. The circle inside the triangle is repeated in the Southside Chapel bench seat three times, twice, so six times. 
This relates to the altar floor tiles where the pair of three pyramids denotes three plus three equals 33, and the three triangles relate to the three circles in the order of Bath, whose motto is tria jacta in uno, three joined in one. Lifting up the fleur de -lis carpet, there are four pyramids with three points each, which equals 12, which breaks down to three, which equals one. King David's ring is on the floor tiles. The round stones on the altar represent the king's ring, which is the ruby. The circle also represents stone, which alludes to the ring. One ring to rule them all, but in this case, these are the two grand master rings of all the Templars and all the Masons, hence the title King of Kings and Lord of Lords. These circles and triangles clearly represent the magic triangle of Solomon, showing King David, like his grandfather Solomon, is a priest king and the sorcerer king. The magic triangle of Solomon is used in the Key of Solomon. In esoteric traditions, the triangle represents the trinity of divine power, wisdom, and love. In 2007, the symbol of the circle inside the triangle was used in the film Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. The Brass Eagle or Golden Phoenix. This is the eagle of the air, the Golden Phoenix. King David's element is the Golden Phoenix. The prophecy is the Golden Phoenix will rise. King David is the Golden Phoenix. The golden phoenix sits on a crown held up by the tree of life and supported by the vine lineage. At the base of the golden phoenix, the three lines pause allude to the trinity. Three is the number of the masculine, the male. It is addressed to the glory of God and dated with Sunday 1895, the Christian holy day of Pentecost, 2nd of June 1895, and stamped with a Templar cross. Who are the high orders? This is the high orders. They answer to their grand master. King David is the grand master. They answer to the king of kings. The king of kings, chosen king, the bodyguard of the king, is the chosen King John III, myself. The song of Jacob to his son says, Joseph is the chosen of Judah, so different from his brothers. Joseph is the chosen of the chosen one. King John III, myself speaking. I have the royal mark of the bodyguard of the king. I have the royal mark of the bodyguard of the king. This represents Judah is the house of the king of kings, and Joseph is the house of kings and the bodyguard of the king of kings. Solomon's stars represent the Knights Templar cross with the Knights of the Temple, Solomon's Temple. Within Solomon's knot are two green pillars, the two pillars of the Temple, Boaz and Yakin. Between the two pillars is the fleur de -lis cross in red and gold, the Merovingian cross, which signifies the Merovingian Sangreal bloodline being the master mason pillar, and it is the middle pillar. Also represented are the two kings, with King David as the Merovingian king. With Solomon's stars, the twelve eight-pointed stars represent the stars of Ishtar. Twelve breaks down to one plus two, which equals three, which equals the one trinity. Solomon was a priest king and sorcerer king. This is showing his direct descendant as a priest king, sorcerer king, and the king of kings, and that the two kings are destined to meet in this. Stars represent the star family. Six is the number of the family, so six stars either side means this is the star family. Carved below is Solomon's star and the splay cross, which is the real Knights Templar cross of the Knights Templar. The symbol of the two kings being between the two pillars, it signifies them being raised together or rising together as in Osiris rising. And Osiris is green. Above is the Alpha and Omega. This is mentioned in Revelations 22.13. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. King David's given name in Gematria shows up as Alpha and Omega, Mary's son, King El Shaddai, the return of the king, 333, you are the Metatron, royal bloodline of Judah, the key of David, 
and Yeshua bride Jean. This alludes to Mary Magdalene. Here, the fleur de -lis crown has been placed on the Alpha and Omega, being the messianic bloodline, which is King David. This is all in a church in Dis. The carving on the top right corner is on King David's ring that he wears on his right hand. It is a diamond placed within a ruby. It's also represented by the ring on his left hand. All of this is saying the Merovingian true king will be wearing these rings, the ring of the king of kings and the ring to rule them all. The Sangreal Solomon Star's Sovereign S also represents Joseph Gregory Hallett as the Hidden King, as in The Hidden King of England, the title of his 2014 five-volume series, The Hidden King of England. For your viewing pleasure, The path to walk on water was built 150 metres west of St Mary the Virgin Dis in the same S shape, sovereign S shape, Sangreal, Solomon Star, sovereign S shape, and open on the hidden King of England's birthday. Actually, it was open twice, 13 days either side of the 15th of September 2017. King John. I've said previously that Camelot means curved light. Camelot more accurately means Pulse of light, mm. King, David. King David. We are the kings of Camelot, King David and King John. It's my time now, it's our time. To summarize the stained glass in the chancery of St. Mary the Virgin Church, Jesus represents the Kingdom of Scotland and the Kingdom of England sleeping or in a coma and wanting to be resurrected or more accurately resuscitated. Now King David and King John are breaking the spell on the isles with the lion's roar and the bull run. It's a wildlife stampede to chase off the little hyenas who are the flat lie royals usurping the throne and crown they have no right to. King David Jesus did not die on the cross. It's not a resurrection. It's the rehabilitation from the kingdom of Judah to the kingdom of Scotland. Citing King David, the stone of Skoda was taken from the Emerald Isles to where the Picts live, the Pictish, the kingdom of the Picts, who also went to New Zealand 30,000 years ago. King John from New Zealand is in possession of the Stone of Scota, Leofell, the Coronation Stone, as of 2020 and 2021. After three years of inactivity on his third video and three minutes and one second in, Joseph Gurgi Hallett called out to King David. The Christ title can be used by the Knights Templar Grandmaster who has achieved Gnosis. As predicted, the head of the House of Joseph, King of England, called out. A week later, David sent out his message. Then we met point to point on this in May 2023. I'm sure King John will show the photo of us walking to the apocalypse tree where the trees in the field turned from green to gold and the sun turned into a grail sun. Here we are walking in sync as Mashak ben David and Mashak ben Joseph. It's no accident King John is in this and this St. Mary the Virgin, Virgo, church is on its doorstep 99 yards and 99 metres away. It is 99 yards from its inside east wall to the inside east altar wall of the church and 99 metres from the inside west wall to the far southeast altar corner wall. 9 plus 9 equals 18 equals 9, so we have 999 continually spiralling upwards in the trinity of the Knights Templar kingship, twice two kings. Queen Victoria was a sora in new inside esoteric knowledge. She established the Esoteric Ghost Club Society by funding it, and this grew into MI6. It's no accident Queen Victoria, via her great-great-great-granddaughter and great-great-great-grandson, presented King John with Queen Victoria's letter awarding the kingship of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and All Ireland, and also presented the letter opener inscribed Prince Regent Duke Governor John, meaning to be King John, 
and with the marks of the bodyguard of the king to establish King John as the head of the house of Joseph, as the bodyguard to the house of Judah, and therefore the bodyguard to King David. A large cupola made of English oak with gold leaf representing a golden crown was fixed on top of the Tower of St Mary the Virgin Church in Dis around 1911 with the apocalypse oak planted 800 metres directly north at the same time. 60 metres northwest of the tower is King John's apartment and from there it is 777 metres north to the oak tree that became the apocalypse oak when it was struck by a thunderbolt, not lightning, in July 2017. This 777 metres alludes to the Shin King, King David, with King John as his bodyguard. The St Mary the Virgin Tower Golden Coppola was renewed in September 2004 for the Virgin in Virgo, with King John born in Virgo, alluding to a new crown and a new golden crown. King David, next we unify the kingdoms and we unify the people. Forge this hammer of the gods. King David is calling all the knights to come forward. King David is calling all the knights to come forward. To all of the liars and all of the evildoers who have been perpetrating the kingdom of lies and have been oppressing the people, this is a message to all of you. Your time is over, and your time of oppressing people is over. The kingdom of lies is being conquered. The flat lie royal Windsors are being driven out with the fire and the rod. King David is here, and now he will take back all that rightfully belongs to him, and he will save the people and protect the people, and King John III will do this with me, and we will do this side by side. We will fulfill the covenant. We will bring back the Garden of Eden. It will be heaven on earth because we will combine heaven and earth and everybody will have the opportunity to be happy because the people will now be protected by the King of Kings and by his chosen King. Peace will reign under the watch of King David and King John III. All knights are called to fulfil their oaths now. All of the orders are sworn an oath to the Holy Grail bloodline, the Sangreal bloodline, to place the true King of Kings, which is King David, and he wants to place the chosen King of the Kings, the chosen one, King John III, because King John III is the chosen one of King David. The kingdoms will be united for the first time. It will be the Kingdom of Scotland with King David, who is the King of Scotland, and King John III, who is the King of England. Then there will be the exchanging of the colours, blue and red. When you mix these, you get royal purple. The high orders have nailed their colours to the cross. Now it is time for them to fulfil their oaths. King David calls the fellows and brethren of all the high orders, the high priestesses, the high priests and the knights to come forward and fulfil their oaths to him and his bloodline. King David, the heir of David, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, calls them to fulfil their oaths to him and his bloodline, the Sangreal bloodline. King John III also calls all the high orders, the high priestesses, the high priests and the knights to fulfil their oaths. The kings are giving orders to the high orders to fulfil their oaths. Beautiful. Another inch, another inch. Nice work. 